Hello bitches, hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Supergirl 605 reaction video. If you haven't checked out part 1 this reaction, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below to watch that one first. Otherwise, I'll just get right back into this episode. Kat Grant is in the house and I love her. Honestly, I just need her back at this point. Like, don't tease me because I'm going to want her back, but I know it's not going to be possible. But like, I'm loving little flashbacks. Anyways, let's just get right back into this. Let's go. Oh, Eliza. Oh, oh my god, they're all... <laughs> Dead! I love this, man. I love this so much. She literally embodies Cat Grant. Like, I mean, like, she's Cat Grant, but like, the actress is just doing such a great job. Like, the movements, like, I. It, it's exactly, like, I'm shocked. If there's one thing Supergirl does right, it's the casting of the younger act, of the younger characters. It's the casting. Super Grant is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's the legend. What I want is the truth. Nothing. In Midvale, it's worth finding. That's so suspicious. Absolutely, Alex. Nothing. That's so suspicious, honey. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Is he? Oh, he's gonna. Something's gonna happen. Right? I shouldn't have left. Come on! That is perfect. What? For what? What the tenor our Glee club needs? Wait, what? Come with me now. The Glig I'm stressed. Another class. There better not be any security cameras that can record this. I'm stressed. Where have you been? I have been searching for you. I thought we were keeping a low profile. Wow, that is a lot of exposure. <laughs> I'm giving myself a risky venture, but necessary in order to avoid unwanted attention. Are you familiar with the emotion of stress? I'm, I'm kind of feeling it right now. Well, Me too. I have been Me too. With the emotion. See a cornucopia of approaches. Why was that hot? Drum. Why was that hot? <sighs> Brainy has a power over me this week. Why he does it so smoothly? It's very attractive to me, personally. I want. <laughs> Can just see just get out of my face for one second? Just one second. Let's let me breathe, sir. He does it so like beautifully. I'm just like, honey. You know that TikTok trend when they're like, what's a scene that's not supposed to be attractive? But it is. That's 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 it for me. That's it for me. Or anytime Lena Luther stares at the camera. Or you know, stares at Kara. But like that what Jesse Rath is a king simping. Let's go. And baseballers hit. See? Again, he's beautiful. Fantastic, like, what the fuck? <laughs> now that you've seen all that... Okay, I will do it. Good. After one more line drive. Maybe it's like his little stress relief, maybe. I don't know, but I'm, I'm here for so, it. She's gonna pounce faster than a speed. <laughs> don't scare me, bitch. He's killed us! Yeah, and his truck is full of gas. Wait, no one's driving it! No one. In that truck, no one's at the wheel. It's the way she just... Astro projected into the truck, but who's doing that? Ah, oh, of course it is then. Oh, see, this is what they want. Oh, oh, Kara, bless your book. Where am I? Oh, she's gonna see something. Did she see? Oh my god. Did she get anything? I'm stressed. The, the, the brakes don't work. Oh my god. A Kalulin has flown in. A who? Oh, King! You're just like, doing this in the open? Are you. I'm stressed, man. Cat May taking a photo. I don't know. <laughs> Brainy just popped in. <laughs> like, you need to be more careful, man. I'm stressed. You need to be careful. Alex called about a runaway. <laughs> what? Brenda, what? Did something. you keep dreaming that? Yeah. We need to retreat. <laughs> Don't do this. Lucky's tongue might actually Oh, Kat, never change, honey. She doesn't change. I love her so much. Queen. Right. 
I don't even know what her dream is supposed to mean, though. I can't be just calling the mom. I'm stressed. Hi, you've reached Isabel now. Huh? I'm so sorry <gasps> I missed your call. Knowing me, I'm either in the garden or the studio. So don't take it personally. Honey. Oh, I wanted to talk to her so badly. In less than 24 hours, we have had two alien encounters, one of which was the impetus for a break-in at our mother's place of work, who is determined to expose the luckiest town in America as home of the newest alien superhero. You've got to be careful. So tell me, Carl, I know. How will you fix this? Who reads the newspaper anymore? <laughs> That's what the this point. This is too much for us to handle on our own. We need help. Maybe she can get a hold of someone at the DEO. No, but oh, bless the DEO. You will soon be the boss of. And then it falls apart. No, I'm just kidding. That was Alexa's fault. Anyways, it breaks me that like of course I actually I mean I agree with Alex. Like you got to be the young and you got to be really careful. You've it's you've already had two questions in Canada, like she said. Like she's trying to be the. I love that she's obviously she's a big sister, but like it's nice that she's like you know like Cara and Nora. Like, you, got to calm down for a sec like it's too much and catch exploring like it's a lot so like but oh my god the, the dynamic though is literally alex and Carl. Like, i mean obviously but like that's why these actresses are so good portraying the younger versions of Carl and us they just embody them so good they're great they're... Yeah, okay, okay what the real world is yeah, like yeah, yeah. and it's not risking the truth of your identity to stop runaway trucks it's about being responsible you're saying you had to sacrifice for me? We all have. Oh. Mom sacrificed her career for you. Shit. You want to know why I skipped out on going to Europe this year? The one thing I wanted just for me. God. What? Because Mom was worried about you. Oh, you can't put it on her. And as always. That wasn't fair. I know. I'm okay, I know they're funny in the future. But like, this breaks me, man. This breaks me. Why? That was a bit... Damn. Maybe if you had more life experience, you'd be able to see that. I've seen more solar systems than you have dates. It doesn't matter. So don't even. Well, she been dead the wrong gender. If you're so wrong. mature, then why haven't you told Kenny about college with him next year? Damn. My Legion scanner detected a rare Bismodian energy signature directly above that fuel truck. Runs a cosmic menagerie. Like a zoo. Full of alien creatures, possibly even oddly colored. That's what the cougar in my train is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh. No. No, 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 no. no, you're fucked up. You changed the future. You changed the future. This is why we don't go back in time. <laughs> I knew something would happen. Now he's wanted because they escaped, right? They had to leave because they interfered. So I don't know. This happens. They just changed the space time continuum. Y'all need to go and fix it now, both of you. I love you, but fix it. Where is that blue light? This is palatable. I feel like that might be a compliment coming from you. But he's cute. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. Why is he cute though? I'm not me sipping for another bartender. I'm done. Jesse is enough. I don't need another man in this show to fucking... Ah, oh, fine. No, you may know my work from the Daily Planet. I am... Lois Lane. That's embarrassing. Gotta get rid of that smudge on your lens. Don't want to miss your next scoop. Red smudge? Is that the blue light? Of a spaceship? Sorry! You're gonna use the drone to spy, right? Kid, want to make 20 bucks? That's smart though. So she's gonna, she's expo- well, okay. Cats are g- I miss Cat- I'm sorry. I'm repeating myself, but I don't care. I miss Cat Grant. I said what I said. But now that the future's changed, who the hell knows? It's gonna get worse before it gets better. I know it is. So get ready for a cliffhanger, I feel. I love doing that with you. I don't ever want that to change. I know exactly what I'm doing. D mm, kind what of. I need to do. What are we doing? That's that's him in the bunker for her, didn't he? Stop it! I'm fine. I thought you could use a pick me up. Oh, what? Heroing base. 
Why is he so cute? <laughs> Not me getting emotional. Why is he so cute? I love him. I love him and Kara. I don't know, man. I'm just feeling things. Like, it's fine. Like, he's just precious. And he can do no wrong in my eyes. If he betrays me, he won't betray me. He's a child. But, like, if something happens to my, my son, I swear to God, if he dies in front of me, I'm going to be so upset. Don't do that to me, please. Anyways, that's so cute. Sorry. Now you're going to tell him the truth. Like, call me. Do no, it's not your fault. Oh no. How could you? Why? Because I can't interpret my dreams and I need help. Honey, I know, but you can't do it. I didn't talk to her. He's having a breakdown. Around the rugged road. Hello. I mean, what are you doing? I'm coping. <laughs> the coping mechanisms I learned today would help, but disappointingly, they remain ineffective. Honey. I'm sorry. Uh, high school they're, yes, no. No, they're, they're chemistry, man. I'm sorry, but Brainy and Nia's chemistry, Nicole and Jess's chemistry is off the charts. Like, they just play so well off each other. And, like, they're so great. They're, Supergirl doesn't deserve them on their show, literally. Supergirl does not, as in, like, Supergirl the show doesn't deserve them. And they, they don't deserve the entire cast, honestly. The entire cast is too good for Supergirl. What, 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 what subculture? How did, how did you cope? I would sing my favorite song. Please, show me. Wait, what do you mean? She was singing to him. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen. Stop, bitch! She's so cute! <laughs> 9 to 5. <laughs> I love her so much. And she's gonna try to calm Bray. I'm dead. The way the brain is end game. The way the end game, honestly. Out on the street, the <laughs> jumping with folks like me. <laughs> so Working nine to five. <laughs> what a yes, Nia! <laughs> really getting back. It's all taken and no giving. Well, she's a good singer, okay? She, Nicole's a great singer. I just realized. I'm like, she's great. Hello? Like Nia and Kara karaoke when? Just saying. Location has been found. I love that was so fucking cute. I love them. Fuck, man. The way she did that to calm him down. I'm sorry. If you, if anybody is against Brainier at this point, don't speak to me. Because how can you hate these two? They're everything, and they will make it to the end. Okay, they're gonna be end game. I said what I said. We know they are. But like this, that was the way she could she could calm him down with her. Oh my god. Don't touch, my friend Katie. Are you a girl? You're alive because I feel like you're dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, girl. I'll plan your funeral. Um, is that him and her? It's the log where we had our first kiss. <laughs> That's where you changed my life. Oh my Carlos. god. This is our future. Oh, I'm stressed for him. He did not say fortress. He did not just say fortress. Kara, you have to be honest with this man. He is willing to risk it all for you. Do you blame him? But, like, you need to tell him the truth, girl. You love Lena. No, I'm joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's not the time. Not the time. You gotta tell him. You gotta tell him the truth. So, uh, what did you want to talk about? <laughs> Stop. He's such a key. There being in a time when your mother was alive with conjure feelings. I'm fine. I, I, okay. Are you sure? Let's just catch the bad guys. Jamming my scanner. Oh no. Well, I would consider hunting season over, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Professor. Shit! What the hell? I will just never know what's going to happen next. Whoa, you can know why! I hate you. I knew it was gonna end to be continued, like I knew because it was part one, like I'm not stupid. But holy crap, man, now they're trapped, they'll be fine. Well, I got, they got this. That was a great episode. I'm sorry, but I am always a sucker for the mid flashbacks, like back in time episodes. I'm always a sucker, right? And I just feel like 
this episode was so good. The Brainia content is everything because honestly, and the, the Nia content, the Bra. Oh my god, I love. The, the, I can't even describe how much I love Brainia together. They are by themselves and together. They're incredible. Brainy owned me this week. Literally, he owned me. I simped. It's fine. Whatever. I don't care. It, I'm gonna simp next week too, let's be honest. But like, the chemistry together is just so good. And the way she's saying 9 to 5 to, to, like, to get him to come down because that's how she coped is, and is soulmate fucking energy. I said what I said. Okay? Like, it's beautiful. Okay? I love them. I love their whole story. I love them going back to the 2009 and, like, just, you know, getting caught straight away, being all dorky together. I love that so much. And then Kara and Alex, young Kara and Alex, the, as I said before, the, act, the, the actresses that are playing them, phenomenal. They got the characters down to a T. And, like, I feel like that Kara made a little line about her not going on many dates because we all know why that's not happening because she likes women. But she doesn't know it yet, you know. She hasn't, she hasn't discovered it yet, you know. That's cool. But, like, Kara, really, girl. Like, hmm. But it's just that conversation between Kara and Alex about her, you know, wanting to go to Europe and she had to come stay back for Kara. Like, it hurt me, I'm not going to lie. But, like, you got to be careful. Like, I agree with Alex. I know Kara's excited and she wants to help people. That's who she is. That's her nature. She's calm. She wants to help everybody. She wants to save people. Like, bless. She wants to use the power of a good 100%. You know, go do that. However, Alex has a point in saying that she's, Kara is still young and she hasn't really experienced adult life outside of, the, of Midvale, you know. And now with Kat there... You know, coming in and being like, you know, investigating stuff. They have to be really, really careful. You know, like, <coughs> you don't know what's going to happen. You've got to be really careful because you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. And then Kenny is the cutest thing in the world, man. I love this child. I love this boy with my whole heart. He is my son. If anything happens to him next week, I'm going to... I can't. I can't handle watching him die again. I want him to live. But if he lives... Does that mean he's in the future? He can, he can go to national national city and say, "Hey, I'd love that." Low key. Um, but the actress who plays Cat Grant, Eliza Helm, I think her name is. If I got that wrong, I apologize. But the actress who plays who played young Cat, oh my god, Cat to a T. Like that could have been Callista. Like nobody is as, is as good as Callista. Let's be honest. Like, but she did a very damn good job living up to the queen. Like the 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 hand movements, the body language, everything was cat grand. I'm like, holy crap! It's so cool to get a you know, even though they can't get Callista back, or they could, we don't know yet. But like, it's nice to have a bit of cat, you know, in this in this season, in the final season. Like, it's nice. But overall, I loved this episode. I loved it. It was so pure. It's just so sweet. And like, bringing near fucking it up. I love that. I knew they'd get their stuff it up eventually, you know. But They'll be fine in the end, I think. They'll be fine. But, and Nia and her mum, like, I love that too. Like, I really want Nia to speak to her mum. Is that bad? Will that screw it up even more? I don't know. Maybe the mum, if she has dreamer powers, maybe the mum knew that Nia came from the future to the past. Maybe she knew she was going to call her. And maybe she'll see her to next week. I don't know. But, true. But, no, I really loved, I, I, I adored this episode. This was a, just a really nice cute episode and i'm excited for part two next week so that was my reaction guys what did you guys think let me know in the comments i'll see you guys um tomorrow or the day after for a shadow and bone season one episode one reaction i love you guys i'll see you then ciao for now bye guys